What I find <coughs> since being involved in this training is that I can say that with confidence time and time again, no matter where I am. Because in the almost six years that I've been involved in this training, what I've learned is to live a life of gratitude. That no matter what's going on, there's a capacity and a capability to tap into what it is about the current situation that is really worth celebrating. And uh, the practice um, of short moments for me um, has been absolutely key in bringing home this ability to be grateful time and time again, no matter what's going on. Even when ch challenged with some quite difficult situations and, and experiences. Um, and what keeps on striking me about, about how um, applicable the training is, is, is its practicality um, in moment to moment. Um, some years ago, um, my mother got ill with vascular dementia um, and it was uh, quite a challenging time for the family. Um, it brought up a, a lot of intense data of, of fear, of pain, of um, anger, of frustration. Everything came up in its fullest force. And um, what I noticed is that through immersing myself in, in the training and gaining support, drawing support from my trainer, um, from community, just to really confront all this face to face, not to need to hide, not to need to run away from any of these things that were arising, um, what happened was a transformation from victimhood to empowerment. <coughs> and um, rather than uh, what originally happened, which was, um, you know, before I had really faced this data, there was a sense of, why is this happening to my mum? You know, why is this happening to us? Um, there's a tremendous amount of, of a sense of pain associated with it. There must be something um, wrong, fundamentally wrong for this to be the case. Um, and instead, um, when I really came to relax and just let all of this arise, just to feel it fully, not to disassociate in any way from it, but to feel it totally fully, um, there was a recognition that I could allow it to settle. And every short moment that I took empowered me into this settling. And from that place, I was able to support my mum and to support my family um, with much more resolve less caught up in the chatter of my mind. I love the, the, just the, the simple invitation to relax and stop describing is, is in itself just been so helpful and so important that once I stopped labelling all this data, um, I was able to see that what was happening was a natural process, including everything that was happening to my mum, to my family, to myself. Moment to moment, this engagement with spontaneous reality was a practical, natural process, and then I could relax. Um, and I'm just immensely grateful for not having to do this on my own. Um, you know, I have, I have um, friends who are interested in um, the, the reality that is being um, pointed to here, but ask me a question, well, why involve yourself with a movement? What's the point of, you know, signing up to some sort of organisation, um, you know, and being involved at that level? Um, you know, surely you, you, you know it, you can just do it all yourself. I can't even begin to describe the benefits of coming together with people like-minded who are absolutely ultimately committed to empowering each other in this recognition. The support, uncontrived and totally natural and spontaneous, and the level of kindness that I've encountered over the last six years of being involved in the mainstays has been absolutely unparalleled. All I see is, is um, shining um, resolve, and um, and love, just just natural, uncontrived love, and um, allowing for me to be as I am, and I, I you know that that in itself is is unique. Um, just to be supported, to be exactly as I am, with all of this stuff that comes up, no matter what I navigate, um, my own. Uh, demons that I face, you know, as I think we all do from day to day, just becoming clarified, you know, through the recognition that actually, you know, when we look our monsters in the eye, they're actually this great fire of, of, of power of benefit. Um, and I work in care work as a, as a counsellor, as a support worker, and as a youth worker. And all of these, these um, jobs 
put me in a position where where people come to me for support and I'm needed you know I need to you know reflect back the best in in others and and nothing has supported me more than being involved in the mainstays to be able to help other people and you know if I'm with uh, people I'm supporting who are struggling with with day-to-day um, -day encounter with mental illness just to be there just to be stable and just to to allow them um, free from the system which has labelled them constantly, you know, since they've they, they've entered um, mental health care, just to actually be there and see the humanness in them and to recognise that that humanness is something that we all totally share. That open intelligence is something that's utterly bright. It's bright, you know, even though um, they might not be able to communicate in the way that we do, they might, you know, we, we, we all have this uniqueness um, of expression and to be able to honour and celebrate that, see that in myself and love that in other people has been absolutely worth its way in gold so I'm um, you know I'm just thoroughly supported and empowered and, um, and blessed actually really blessed to be part of, of this incredible unfolding and um, and the gift of, of, of what Balanced View is offering is um, uh, it's, it's, it's testable it's just demonstrable it's you know it's there and it's offered freely for everyone so yeah thank you so much <laughs>